Well, I have the sweetest guest of them all, and by far the youngest guest of them all. I have a little 10-year-old on, uh, on the episode today. It's, she's absolutely incredible. She's called Amelie Anastasia. She's a young author, and she shares her journey of writing books and inspiring others right here on the podcast. She started with the book Fox Tales 1 and has now published two more books, Fox Tales 2 and Wolf Tales. And I'm, I, I normally do the intro right after the episode, which we filmed a few months ago, to be fair. She is the daughter of Dr. Schaefer, and, um, who was on last week. Uh, but we have waited to do the intro because I really wanted to get the books delivered to the house. And I'm going to show you the third one that isn't even out yet. Well, it might be out any time that when this episode is published, to be fair. Um, but she sent it to me and it's, I think I'm not far off the first person to uh, have a copy. So here it is. If you're listening on Apple, make sure you go over to Spotify or um, YouTube, subscribe, of course, uh, and have a look. They're just absolutely stunning. And we do show them in the episodes too. I mean, just look at this. This Emily is 10 years old. Just a beautiful box. I'm just going to put this one right back here where it belongs. Ah, oh, just um, so proud. Anyway, <laughs> Emily's books focus on the themes of friendship and connection and the importance of embracing, uh, embracing differences. You know, she aims to, take, to make a positive impact um, on the world by helping children with life, limiting diseases, tell their stories and feel empowered. Emily believes in the power of growth and compassion, and she strives to be a source of support for others. I wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> kind of runs in the family, I think. You probably, if you missed it, you need to go back to last week's episode and check that one out too with Dr. Schaefer, her mum. Despite, you know, she she explains in the episode about having poopy days <laughs> and she finds strength in opening up to her mum and spreading kindness to those around her. In this conversation, we also, um, you know, Amelie being the young author, an advocate for animals and the environment, shares her journey and passions, as you can tell from the books as well. Uh, she discusses the importance of using your voice, the value of friendship and connection, and the need to protect wildlife and forests. Again, themes within the book. Emily also talks about her podcast, What's Up Young Authors, where she interviews young authors and her involvement with charities such as the Little Traverse Bay Humane Society. I hope I said that okay. Uh, she emphasizes the importance of growth and being true to yourself. Um, and, you know, you can just tell her enthusiasm and wisdom shine straight through as she inspires others around her you know to just make a, a positive impact on the world she's absolutely incredible and um she just says things in the podcast that i probably didn't even realize until later in life she's just amazing anyway we'll be right back with amelie check her out cheers welcome to leading our own way I'm your host, Andrew White, and this is the podcast that unveils captivating narratives of resilience and personal triumph. This podcast is for anyone seeking inspiration and insights on overcoming life's challenges. Follow and subscribe, and then we can lead together forever. Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to Leading Our Own Way. I've got a very, very special guest today. Uh, today, I've got a little Amelie with me, Amelie Anastasia Kurzik. I hope I've said your name right. Welcome. How are you today, Emily? Good, and thank you so much. I'm really excited to be on your show and tell people my story. Oh, no, thank you so much. I think before we get into who you are, we should tell everybody how you got onto my show because you are, well, tell everybody who your mum is. Well, my mom is Dr. Schaefer Stedronova, and she is a life coach, author, and many more things. She works very hard every day to tell her story. She certainly does. Yeah, um, she was on last week. It was last week's guest. And um, I just wrote a, uh, she did a, a lovely review for me. And I had to list all the things she does in her life. The line nearly ruined my whole post on social media. It was that long. Anyway, <laughs> so um, if, if you're there, Schaefer, can you say hi to everybody, please? She's coming around. Hey, there she is. If everyone's watched last week, this was my last week's guest. Um, so, Emily, can we? I want to start with 
what's behind you. You have behind you a sign that says, what's up, young authors? And I'm going to I'm gonna pull mine over. It's not as cool as yours, but I've so everybody can see on Spotify. Well, if they're watching on Apple and Spotify, they won't be able to see it. But tell us a little bit about your young life and what you're doing at the moment with What's Up Young Authors. Well, so this started when I was homeschooled and I had an idea to make a book. And at first, we weren't really going to sell it at all. We were going to give it away to friends and family. But then once it was published and made, um, we decided that we mu- we might want it to sell in a local bookstore so that other people who don't really see us as much can buy it and find it. And so we asked them and they said yes. So over the years, it got popular and we created more books. Then I was asked to, um, my mom asked the, what's it called? The local television station. The, lo- the local television station. Mm-hmm. If um I could be on TV and talk about it, and I can and on the driveway home, I told my mom that I really liked it and I wanted to keep doing it, but I didn't know how because it's hard to be on TV. Mm-hmm. And then I said, "Well, you have a podcast. Can I have a podcast?" And she said, "Yeah, let's make it." And so here we are. Oh, yeah, what a journey! I think we should go to the beginning of that journey, though. Um, what was the first book that you wrote? Foxtails One. Fox. It is ta- about the yeah. journey of two young fox kits, Naya and Hazel. And Emily's holding the book up, and I will put all the information in the show notes. And it's a beautiful illustration. Could you tell us a little bit about that book? Well, it was illustrated by Savdalina Kovarova, and it was published... Soon after it was written, um, the pictures go throughout the book. Mm-hmm. And, oh, beautiful pictures. Yeah. And they're used with nature and natural paint. But it is absolutely beautiful artwork. There's some paper mache, too. Wow. And, um, Yeah. And what's the story about it? I saw I saw the word friendship in there. Um, so I'm guessing it's about connection and relationships, which is a big thing for me as well. Um, but talk, talk to us a little bit about that book and what, what does the adventures or the friendship, what's the moral of the story? Well, the moral of the story is no matter where you go, you can meet people that you think you may never see again. And the next thing you know they can be part of your life forever. Yes, that's as, you know what? That's the best way to say it. I've been looking for the perfect way to say it forever because I believe in that. And I've had many people on my journey say, you know, we're not always here to make friends. And I think they need, those people need to read your book, in all honesty. It is um, a big, big uh, thing. What, what made you want to write that then? What, how, what entered your head to write a story about friendship and strangers? Well, I've always loved donating to local shelters, saving animals, watching animals who ask people for help even on YouTube. And um, animals just honestly are such a big part of my life. And I thought maybe I could write a book about them. And I was inspired by um, the forest around my house, um, the fox kits, a female and her children that had so there was a female fox that had kits outside of our house that's partially of what inspired me but most of all i think i wanted to change lives and not just the world but like the people in it yeah that's beautiful and you so you're trying to give hope to people to to connect and make friendships through the the eyes of an animal is that is that right yeah do you have a lot of friends i bet you do um kind of in the middle 
Yeah. You know what? I've got a lot of connections with a lot of people, but I've I found out only recently in my life, it's probably better just to have maybe just a few friends because you can have better quality of friends, can't you? Would yeah, you agree? You can, have, you can have a ton of friends that are like not really your friends. I agree. Kind of just like on the side, mm. like picking a side between people. Um, or you can have like one or two friends that are like the best people you've ever met. I agree. Completely agree. I retract my question about lots of friends. That I, I completely agree with you 100%. Um, it might be a silly question, but do you have foxes in, in America? Yes. Because I know they didn't belong here in Australia and somebody brought them over on the boat and then they kind of just bred and went everywhere in Australia. But Australia was never meant to have rabbits and, and, um, and foxes. And I, I'm just trying to remember if I ever saw foxes in the United States. I don't remember. But anyway, um, so that's a beautiful story. You've got, we, you, we didn't say book. We said books, didn't we? That means plural. Um, you've got more books. Yeah. And, and you're 10 years old. I've only got one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on, talk to us about the next one. Well, the next one is Foxtails 2. Oh, it is that. about how Hazel and Naya, his new siblings, come into the world and starring Fern, um, finds her journey through the embarkment of nature, um, finding friends, getting locked in a zoo, <laughs> <laughs> finding her way zoo. out of trouble. Finding wow. her way out of sticky situations and, most importantly, friendship. Nice. So, Emily, the, the second book that you've got there is very beautiful. Is it the same characters? Is it the same? Is it continuing from the story? How, how does it come from the first one and flow into the second one then? Well, the first book is about Nye and Hazel. The second book is still about Nye and Hazel but they're not really the main characters anymore. Oh. Who is? So the main characters are now Fern and... Why, why don't you start it again? Yeah. Fern and Cedar. Yeah. Fern and Cedar. <laughs> why don't you start the sentence again? So That's okay. the new main characters in the book are Fern and Cedar. Cedar is a young fox who's lived in a zoo his entire life and is just happy, but kind of corny and doesn't really know a lot. And Fern is Nyan Hazel's little sister. She's lived in the forest her entire life, so she's never been in a zoo. So she's confused. Like, why does the grass taste, like, weird? Why are the rocks hollow? Stuff like that. Wow, that's amazing. How, what what made you come up with this idea with this second book then? Well, um, the first book was selling really well, and then I realized that not only could I make money um, and help the Humane Society, I could make money and help wildlife. Like, no, like, can we donation jar? Sure. In a happy place. <laughs> Yeah, like um the like the wildlife center we're creating right now. Oh, but yeah, we'll my favorite character sure. is Snickerdoodle. Oh my word. If anyone's listening to this, you need to get onto YouTube and Spotify and look at it because Emily's <laughs> showing some pictures of a book, a second book, and uh wow, that's a beautiful picture as well. Could yeah. could you read uh, maybe half a page to us. Could you start maybe the first page to the book? That would be amazing, actually. That just popped into my head. I'd love to hear you read just a page. Obviously, you can't read the whole book. I mean, we could actually. That could be a whole different episode. But um, re read the first page. Let's get into the flow with it so we can fall in love. Already falling in love anyway, but there we go. <laughs> chapter, chapter one, an adventure. In a cool, dark den deep in the forest. Two teenage fox kits named Naya and Hazel were dreaming in a soft pile of fox fur. Naya awoke and quickly stood up. 
She reached her paws out in front of her as far as she could and took out her fur waking Hazel up. Hazel stretched and yawned. Naya, the sunlight isn't even coming into the den yet. Why are you up so early? He groaned. Naya licked her paws and looked up at Hazel playfully. Come on, don't you want to have another adventure? You won't find anything fun sleeping, quipped Naya. Hazel yawned again. Actually, I'd like to stay here and rub my belly, he yipped. Naya bit Hazel on the tip of his ear and started tugging. Come on, let's go. Ouch, said Hazel. You could be less strict, you know. No, I can't be less strict, Naya said. So get up. Ugh, replied Hazel. Why is this? Why is it always us going on an adventure? Why can't it be the little ones this time? Amazing. I can hear your voice in the car. And, and or in the bedroom and you know going to sleep and the children listening to your voice read your books you should do that do an audio book to it if you've not been doing that already because your voice is stunning and you you your fluency and your rhythm and your tone and um is is stunning and i assess readers a lot because i'm a Thank teacher you. day by day so i i know what to listen to and what to look for in uh in 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 how children read so that's beautiful um, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, of course. And you're so polite. Oh, carry on, keep being so polite. That's amazing. You have to teach my son some manners, I believe, I think. <laughs> um, all right, so where do we go from that book then? Um, the characters are beautiful. The books are beautiful. Um, you've got some mer Is there anything that we need to add about the books before we... Because I'd like the next bit to go on some of the things behind you, your merchandise. But is there anything that yeah. we need to talk about your books first before we move there, Emily? Um, well, do you want to give them the world premiere? Oh, yes. Um, give well, me the world you, premiere. Do you think we should let it out? I think we should. I, well, I want to be the man and the podcast to do that. You're one of the first people to see this, like ever. Join us tomorrow to hear more from today's incredible guests and learn valuable insights to help you lead your own way. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you then.